Today's problem was submitted by a viewer, and it says, prove that the series one plus a half plus a third plus a quarter and so on up to plus one over n is divergent. Um, okay, so I mean, this is a well-known, let's write this as k goes from one to n of one over k. So what we need to, let me just write out first of all, exactly what we need to show. We need to show that the limit as n goes to infinity of this, I mean, I suppose we should say that this is just equal to infinity. Strictly speaking, we need it to not exist, but infinity is fine. Um, so it's a well-known fact that this limit is equal to infinity. But, um, and the way that I know to prove it, again, I, I don't know if the tools I'm going to use here are considered overpowered for the nature of the question and who the intended audience is. But um, the way that I typically see this proven is by comparing it to the integral of 1 over x. Um, so if I have x here and I plot the function 1 over x, so that's 1, 1 over x on that axis, then uh, what I want to do is I'm going to draw rectangles which represent each individual term in the sum. So I'm obviously not drawing this to scale, but that's fine. The point should be clear, and this continues. Um, so the area of this rectangle is one. The area of this rectangle is a half. The area of this rectangle is a third. And the area of this rectangle is a fourth, and so on. And so what this says is that the sum k goes from 1 to n of 1 over k is greater than or equal to, well, let's say, I guess we can say strict greater than the integral from 1 to n of 1 over x dx. But this is equal to the logarithm of x evaluated at 1 and n, which is equal to log n. So I have that the thing we are interested in, the sum is greater than log n. And so if I take a limit of both sides, oops, limit n to infinity of this, uh, well, it's greater than the limit of that which is infinity. Um, yeah, so, I mean, okay, okay I, I, strictly speaking, this, I haven't shown exactly, have I shown, uh, no, I, I guess, I guess you could work it out, you know, like, um, like a reverse squeeze type thing. You know, str the strict definition of limits I haven't really used here, but intuitively this stuff is, is kind of clear. Um, you know, if I wanted to break out a capital M and a capital N such that this is always greater than capital M and so on, the same thing would hold for this. And so uh, it certainly does go to infinity. Um, but like I said, you know, this this is the standard way that I've, I've, I've seen this done in the past. I'm sure there are other ways of doing it. Um, but, um, you know, maybe this calculus approach is overkill for the intended audience of this question. But hey, you sent it to me, so I'm going to use what I know. Thanks for the submission, and thanks for watching.